Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. I did it, and I did it again. I think I'm getting better, guys. What do you think? She is, and she did the short video that we put up uh, telling people that we did this video, a Patreon exclusive, on the V reality hitting the mainstream. It really is hitting the mainstream, and boy, is that going to change everything. But again, we have a lot of other things to worry about at the same time. It is so busy out there, a lot going on, um, a lot to get ready for because, gosh, I don't know, it just really feels like this April timeline is looming, I mean, in so many ways. And like it is going to be uh, absolutely, extremely significant. In fact, you know, again, everything that we have been saying uh, for years now, going back to 2017 about the two eclipses and by the time you get through the second one, there's going to be a certain, well, what is really the third one? There's going to be a certain path that is going to be pretty obvious. Let's start over here. We have a quake. They're showing 6.0 USGS was, was showing lower than this in the fives. This is right over at Fukushima in Japan. So, of course, Fukushima was hit by a massive quake that caused all sorts of untold damage, of which the likes we, we don't really fully comprehend at this moment. So always look for something over there. And over here, we have something that feels very, uh, f well, it feels like it's a sign of, of what's to come on a much, much bigger scale. And this is saying major internet outages reported to various countries across Africa. Is this a test run? South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, Ivory Coast, the Gambia, Guinea, and Benin. Yeah, they say that three cables were damaged. Three undersea cables damaged off the coast of Africa is what happened here. And then we heard, have heard about underwater cables off the coast of Yemen um, that would really, if they got damaged, it could really shut down a lot of uh, your Europe and, and into Asia. You know, it, it's just a sign of the times. It's so interesting the way the, the power structure is even coming out with things nowadays. You know, of course, way, way back, they gave us a six months without the grid scenario in the United States that everybody should prepare for that. And now you got all these people talking about the eclipse and we'll do a video on that by itself, a short one. Uh, we're going to keep this one short, too. But it does feel like, you know, you got to be prepared for being off grid. We do have uh, a whole house generator. We have a smaller generator uh, for a backup and we're looking into uh, some sort of solar system that would at least maybe keep a fridge going. Mm -hmm. I mean, just something to complement so that uh, we can just keep the fridge. Because honestly, I mean, gas is nice, even if it's propane or natural gas. These things are nice, but are, are we really going to have access to that? And if not, uh, you're going to need something to keep the food going. That's my main concern. Food and water. We, we keep those things going for a little while and, and we'll be okay. Yeah, we've covered the water with you guys before and we just, I just felt like getting another uh, water filtration system for backup to have diversity. So if we have electric, we, we have a um, purification system that's our number one uh, go-to re reverse osmosis system. Um, we do have like a zero pure we have an aqua pure we have a distiller and we have a gravity fed like a berkey um, as well and i also picked up a couple other portable uh, filtration systems uh, just today they came in and we have life straws as well and we have water purification tablets or water purification liquid Maybe we're looking into ozone too. Well, we, we do have, um, we have two ozone generators that we could utilize to, um, you know, again, purify water with ozone as well. And we're looking into a smaller, more portable uh, version in case we have to just simply hit the road in the camper again in the worst case scenario. This is what we got from the guides uh, and we've talked about numerous times. 
right now the U.S. is being flooded with migrants. Well, us U.S. citizens, from what we've seen, will become migrants and immigrants. Many of us will. And we won't be able to stay put where we necessarily are. We, we hope for the best and, of course, put out our intentions that we'll be safe wherever we are. But this is what the guides have given us. And I have to say, I had to probe for it because, again, they don't want to interfere in our quote unquote human experience. But when probing and digging into, well, why wouldn't we want to say go to this one particular area? Because I like it there a lot. Well, you might be faced with massive swarms of people uh, fleeing to escape a certain situation that's going to develop in in the timeline that we're on at this point in time and so you know this is why they've steered us towards um, the area that we're in uh, could we be in an even better area probably you know I think so I, I think part of this is the fact that Cindy and I don't like cold climates we really don't and we want to have a growing season that's very long um, and we want to have water available. I do think, you know, there, there, there might be more safety out in the middle of, you know, some parts of uh, the Dakotas, Montana, Wyoming, uh, you know, even perhaps some areas far away from people in, say, Kansas, etc. Um, but we didn't want to ourselves live in a colder climate. And, you know, again, wherever you are, you can put your protection bubble up. Um, but I do think it, everything is pointing to the fact that April is go time. Mm -hmm. A lot going on. I mean, the energies are getting difficult, too. So uh, this can bring about a lot of emotional purging, a lot of uh, trauma, a lot of things to uh, it can bring a lot of things to your attention that we have to deal with. And what we're going to see, it, it's not like we're always going to be without the grid. It, it, I think they want to hit us hard, um, hit us in a way that we will accept anything to get back to a sense of normality. And then they're just going to keep going ahead with their usual program. So, you know, in the U.S., especially in the U.K., um, Ireland, probably some of Canada, you know, Australia, New Zealand, and other NATO countries, you know, we're going to be hit with a different set of events in more intensity than say if you lived in uh, in a BRICS country or in a non-aligned country um, out there, say in the middle of nowhere. Like, you know, again, we, we are seeing an escalation and have seen of what we could call earth change events. And now people are understanding that many of these earth change events have a technology behind them. But the regular agenda will, will come and start rolling out again as soon as the change in leadership uh, is in effect. And so when you see things like this, they're shutting down a Tyson's Foods pork plant in Perry. Yeah, they're shutting down a pork plant, and where are they putting their money? Well, they're investing in insect proteins, Protix and insect food additive companies. So they're shutting down the meat side, gearing up the bug side again you eat bugs it's going to wreak havoc on your immune system at least that's my take uh because it's going to have an inflammatory response it, it's lower frequency uh, there's a lot of reasons to to not eat bugs there are people all around the world that do eat bugs unfortunately in some cultures um but given the chance between a, a burger or barbecue chicken, I think those people would usually take a burger or barbecue chicken and not to offend uh, the vegans out there. Uh, again, we all have our different viewpoints on this. And yes, I will say that when we are in a golden age, uh, we don't have need to eat such heavy foods. We really, really don't. But that's then and this is now. So these are different times. And yet again, we don't necessarily have to adhere totally to what we've been given uh, as far as nutritional advice because the system has obviously had other ideas the whole time as to what it wants humanity to do as far as uh, longevity, health, and well-being. 
So it's, it's really important to discern. With the ascension process ongoing, our needs will change. Everything will change. But we understand that their whole point is to keep us in a lower frequency. And here is interesting, too. They just changed um, the West Point mission statement. Their mission statement went from to educate, train, and inspire the core of cadets so that each graduate is a commissioned leader of character committed to the values of duty, honor, country, and prepared for a career of a professional excellence and service to the, to the nation as an officer in the United States Army. And now, okay, the United States Army, now it reads, to build, educate, train, and inspire the Corps of Cadets to be commissioned leaders of character committed to the Army values and ready for a lifetime of professional excellence and service to the Army and nation. They got rid of the United States Army. You know, if you can't see what's happening, uh, you're pretty blind. And I know you guys get it. You guys definitely get it. So we are going to have this real rough period that is going to be the most traumatic thing that the United States. And uh, and again, this is going to be for the UK and, and our closest allies. They'll have that too for um, to an extent. The trauma, uh, it, it, the things that we're going to face are going to be unparalleled, unparalleled. But when it's all over, there'll be a new uh, power structure in place, but it's going to have the same objectives that we've been pushing against this whole time. I know they're just they're going to paint it in a different color. So that's why we really all need to get in touch with ourselves, get in touch with what makes you feel good, which what works for your body, because with dietary changes, they're going to throw all kinds of stuff out there. They're going to say, well, this is the good thing. That's the good thing. And, oh, new study shows, blah, blah, blah. Go with what makes you feel good. Don't worry about judgment of others. Do what makes you feel good. You know, and I've heard this. Uh, people call this man Mean Mark Coleman. If you guys followed uh, the UFC since its beginning, uh, he was one of the original pioneers, and uh, he, he also did commentary. He ran into his parents' house. His parents' house had a sudden fire, popped up out of nowhere, and he went in and rescued his parents, and then he went back in for the dog and, and went to rescue the dog, and then he collapsed and uh, succumbed to the, to the smoke. But um, he, he made it out alive. And as he says, I'm the happiest man alive. And, you know, again, he is the he's a good example of a warrior spirit in a positive light because he risked his own life to save his parents who who must be in their 80s because you know, Mark's like my age. Um, so, you know, he must be they must be in their 80s. He saved them and went back for the dog that says so much about his character and who he is. And sticking your neck out on the line for others, well, that's what's going to be tested in these times. And, you know, the others might be your, your immediate family. Um, but then again, we've seen throughout history, when you look to the elites of this world, you have uh, kings and queens. I, I, you look to Constantine, who, who again, commissioned uh, the Catholic Church. He, he executed his, his wife and firstborn son, you know, so... It, this is really going to be a testing of, of our metal, and so w some will rise to the top and others won't. If you follow your heart to the best of your ability, you just cannot go wrong. Absolutely. As always, guys, thanks for your support. Source Bless. Namaste. Namaste.